This is a lesson on comparing and ordering decimals. So now that you've learned about um, thousandths and you already knew about hundredths and tenths, um, we're going to practice ordering decimals with those the combination of um, digits. So it says, when comparing decimals, we compare numbers in place values from left to right. So you'll notice that that is how we compare non-decimals as well. We look at the numbers from the left to the right. Um, this means that you would look at the ones, then the tenths, then the hundredths, and then the thousandths. Many organisms are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Scientists use a microscope to study them. Here are the lengths of four microorganisms. We're going to use this um, problem to show three different ways to uh, order and compare decimals or strategies to figure out what their comparisons are or how they compare. So um, I might say some of these wrong, but let's see how I do. So this says that the tardigrade is 0 0.15, the euglena is 0 0.139, the vorticella is 0 0.11 and the paramecium is 0 0.125. So those are the lengths and they're all in millimeters, you'll notice. So they're really, really tiny. Um, but here are three ways to order the lengths. So you could do a place value chart. And this one's really easy once you get the chart in. It's just a matter of placing the numbers in the boxes. So um, you make it sort of like the... Uh, tens or ones, tens, hundreds, thousands kind of thing that goes this way, but we're going to go this way. So ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Don't forget the THS at the end, otherwise it means something different. Okay, so uh, let's look it up here. There we go. Uh, the tardigrade is 0 0.15, so we put 0 0.15, and then the thousandths place, there's an imaginary 0 up here that you can't see, so we write it in. Uh, the euglena, euglena something, uh, is 0 0.139, so 0 0.139 goes in there, it goes right in order. Uh, the vorticella, 0 0.11, so 0 0.11, and then a 0 to, play, to put that. Uh, as a placeholder in the thousandths place. It's imaginary there, but it is there. And the paramecium is uh, 0 0.125, so 0 0.125. Then, okay, so that's the that's the easy part, and then and then you need to compare. So look at the ones first. There are they are all zero, so leave that. Look at the tenths next, they are all one, so that's not going to help us. And look at the hundred. These are all different, so this is our sweet spot. This is where we're going to look. And it's nice that it's all in one spot. Sometimes it's going to be uh, two fives, maybe, and then you'll have to go to the thousandths to compare. But in this case, um, <clears throat> we have to order from greatest to least. So, and I have it written down here too. But the five hundredths is the biggest, and then three hundredths, and then two hundredths, and then one hundredths. So it would go tardigrade, euglena, paramecium, and vorticella. Um, but we would write it as the decimals. So numbers from ordered from greatest to least are, and you need to write these on the line. My line's going to disappear, but it's going to be 0.150. Whoops, 150. Then 0 0.139. Oh, and actually we could probably get rid of that 0 because it's not necessary. You could leave it though, and then zero. Oops. Oh no, things are happening. There we go. <laughs> zero decimal one two five is next, and then zero decimal one one. Notice I put commas in between the numbers. That's how we separate them. Okay. So there's that. Make sure you have that copy down. I'm going to erase it now so that I don't forget to take it out. <clears throat> and then the next way that you can compare decimals, so that was a place value chart. This is very, very um, similar uh, because up in that place value chart, we put those imaginary zeros in that weren't there. That's basically what you do here. So you look at the um, decimal with the largest 
place value, I guess, or whatever, maybe the smallest you might say. You, so this one has, uh, two of them have thousandths, so we need to make all of them have thousandths. So for all of the, the ones with only two digits after the zero, we just put another, or after the decimal, <clears throat> we just put a zero at the end. And we've practiced this before, so this shouldn't be new. Um, once you do that, then you just compare all of the numbers. Now this one is basically the place value chart, but less work. So I'm assuming you'll like this one more than the one above. But if it's um, if it makes more sense to you to do the place value chart, then go ahead and do that. And sometimes you'll just be asked to do a specific strategy. Anyways, so now you compare them in the same way that you compared them up here. So again, you look at the hundredth spot. That's our sweet spot today. And um, from greatest to least again is the same order. So, oh no, what's happening? There we go. And so I will put that there. So that is the order from greatest to least. Now, it, it might not even look like it's the greatest, right? Because this looks like it's 15 and this looks like it's 139. But remember that this is more like 150, and that's bigger than 139. Okay, so make sure you copy that down. And that's going to be the answer for the next one as well, so don't be surprised. Uh, but it's going to be different. So this one is a number line. And, um, well, th this will help those of you who are vis visual. Anyways, so what you need to do with the number line is first look at what all of the uh, decimals are in between because we're going to be doing like zooming in on the, on the number line instead of having zero over here and one over here we don't really need that we just need to know um, the little part so we know uh, that the two benchmarks that all of this is in between is since all of these start with one uh, they're in between zero decimal one zero there's nothing smaller than that and then the next benchmark that's bigger so this is 10 and we go to 20 and there's nothing that uh it has a 2 right after the decimal so that would go over here that's how we know it's between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so we would label those ed end points of the number line 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and then next and i've done these two points for you just for uh time we would divide the interval between 1 and 10 or 1 and 10 0 0.10 and 0 0.20 to show hundredths. So um, it's basically going 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then putting zero decimal in front of all of that. So it's not that difficult to make the number line if you think about it like regular counting and then zero decimal in front of everything. Okay, and then you're going to divide the hundredths to show thousandths. So to do that, we're going to need this. And that means that you need to put 10 little lines in between each one of those lines. So let's see if we can do that down here. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 8, 9, 10. Sorry, I was wrong. We are going to put 9 in there because the 10th one is um, that this line, the black line. That's the 10th line. So we only need to put 9 lines. Sorry. Okay, so yours hopefully looks better than mine. Um, some of my lines turned into sevens just because of the way my drawing pad um, was responding to all those little lines. Yours shouldn't have that though. Okay, so that's the next one. And then mark a dot for each number. So we need to look and find for each one of these. Make a dot. Okay. Um, so first we've got 0 0.15. So that's like 15. So thinking over here, that's right here, 0 0.15. See it? Next one is 0 0.139. So that's like 13. And then 9 would be the ninth uh, little ticky thingy here. So 0 0.139. 
Then we've got 0 decimal 1, 1, so that's right here. We already have that written. And 0 decimal 1, 2, 5, so 12. Think 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth tick in. One. Ah, see, there it goes again. 1, 2, 5. <clears throat> Okay, and then after you plot those on there, then um, greatest to least would be from this way to the back, and least to greatest would be from the left to right. Uh, yeah, so it says the farther to the right the number line, the greater the number is. So 0, decimal, 1, 5. Oh, I think I have a spot here, yeah. Okay, so 0 decimal 1, 5, 0 decimal 1, 3, 9, 0 decimal 1, 2, 5, and 0 decimal 1, 1, just like we've written on the other ones. Alright, so that is that one. That's how you would do that. Now, this is what you need to do. You get to pick whatever strategy you want, but you need to order the following numbers from least to greatest. I would use, uh, suggest using equivalent decimals, but up to you. Pause the video and play again once you're done. Okay, so first thing that um, you should do if you didn't is just write the numbers one on top of the other so that you can see um, the place values matched up. So this one wants us to do least to greatest this time. So we have to find the smallest one. So we look, here's the all zeros. So we can't look here. Um, let's look here. Next in the tenths, we've got a one, two, two, a one, and a three. So this one and this one are going to be one of the smallest ones. They're the smallest two. We need to figure out which is the smallest next one. So we look at this next digit beside. So we've got a five here beside the one, and we've got a two. Two is smaller than five, so we would write um, 0 decimal 1, 2, 6 as the smallest one. Then we already know that 0 decimal 155 is the next smallest. All right, next we need to find the, the uh, third smallest. So we've got a 2, a 2, and a 3. So notice we returned to that tenth um, place value. And we've got 2 and 2. So those are, those are going to be our next ones. And beside one of the 2s, I have a 6, and one I have an 8. So the 6 is smaller. So the 0 decimal 268 would be the next one. And then 0 decimal 280 would be the next one. And I'm running out of room on my page. I'm going to continue down here with the last decimal of 0 decimal 341. So you basically do the place value chart without writing the chart, even when you do equivalent dec decimals. Okay, so your assignment then is page 189 to 190, number 1 to 9.